Good morning, dear traders. You are watching Economic News on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. Macroeconomic statistics released in the United States on Friday turned out to be strong, boosting traders' confidence in the Federal Reserve's monetary tightening by the end of the year. According to official data, producer prices in the U.S. rose by 0.3 percent in September in comparison with a zero change in August. Analysts had projected a gain of 0.2 percent. Retail sales an important good show of the U.S. economic health also indicated an improvement in the sector. The U.S. Department of Commerce reported that the retail sales increased by 0.6 percent last month after a fall of 0.2 percent in August. The result coincided with market forecasts showing the fastest growth rates in the last three months. Retail sales, excluding automobiles, gasoline and building materials, also rose by 0.5 percent after a decline of 0.2 percent in August. However, flash consumer sentiment data from the U.S. was weak. According to flash estimate of the University of Michigan, the consumer sentiment index declined to 76.6 from 82.7 in September. The preliminary consumer sentiment index also came in out below expectations. The indicator stood at 87.9 in October, down from 91.2 in September. However, traders preferred to thrust the preliminary reports aside, hoping that actual data will be way better. Therefore, the US dollar was rising against the other major currencies, even being under pressure ahead of significant releases. On Friday, the US dollar index hit daily lows at 97.50. After the release of the U.S. statistics by the end of the trading day, the index was at 97.93 levels. Currencies traded is expect the U.S. dollar to keep rising against its major rivals despite a lack of significant macroeconomic publications from the United States on Monday. Currently, traders are almost sure about the Fed's interest rate hike by the end of the year. This expectation bolstered the greenback against its counterparts. You have watched Financial News on InstaForex TV channel. See you later.